can see just the speed back end breaks loose. You should just go on and spin out right there. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, that's hard. Clint Boyer was right behind him. You're just so many times, once that car is out there, you're not going to save that at this speed, and you'd be better off just trying to stand in the gas, turn it left, and, you know, hard lesson learned, but uh, Andre will know the next time that he's better off. If you, if they are going to crash that car, the back end is much better to hit uh, if that's the case. Dale Earnhardt Jr., he's in trouble. He has hit the wall big time. That is a tough break for the winner. Last time we were at this racetrack, he has spun around the wrong way. Looks like there's some serious damage to the car. And we only have about 10 minutes left in this practice. There's no way they're going to get the backup unloaded and out there. So pretty much he's going to have to, A, go to the rear of the field with a backup car, join Jimmy Johnson, and uh, it'll be with a car where the first lap will be when they drop the green flag tough break for one of our championship contenders and the guy who won last time around here that backup is a pretty good uh, piece but let's take a look at what happens to junior you could see he got up out of the groove a little bit the car looked like it was so loose maybe he couldn't turn the steering wheel he got up out of the groove and it was just pretty much gone yeah and we talked about it early in practice when we saw the 16 get free coming up out of turn four uh greg biffle get free once you get up out of that black then it's, it's pretty, obviously it's fairly slick up there. You can see right now, both the 48 team and the 88 team working on getting this car on the racetrack. They are from the same shop at Hendrick Motorsports. And remember what Dale Earnhardt Jr. said on the radio earlier. We hear the 51 has spun on the racetrack right now for Kurt Busch, so trouble for him. Dale Earnhardt Jr. putting his helmet on. But Dale Jr. had been complaining of a very tight race car, and they kept on trying to loosen it up and loosen it up even more. Well, the it looked like to me, it just came around with it. Yeah, this is a car that's just what we would call free. And as he went down in that corner, I'm thinking the car was probably feeling just a little bit too free for him. And as he got to the middle of the corner, that thing just spun around. Nothing he could do. Rode it into the outside retaining wall and busted the nose on that thing pretty good. Looked like, was that Brad, Brad Keselowski? Keselowski in the two caught all the way the, down into the grass? Caught the dirt there as he went by. So Johnson, fastest in practice, will have to go to a backup car. And we'll have to start tomorrow's 400-mile race from the back of the field. And turn oh, as you can see, the right oh, no. front is destroyed. Therefore, he has no brakes. Almost like the throttle's even stuck. It, he, does, it does look that way, doesn't it? You know, I'm not so sure that maybe he didn't hit the wall and, 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 and daze himself and just stayed in the throttle. He's already had hard impact. That was a hard yeah. lick. Yeah, yes. hard impact into that wall. And then this is just... Boy, it sure looks like it's still accelerating. Yeah, it does. It? Wow. The equipment we have now, uh, a head-on collision is is a lot better than 